So let's talk about editing to-do items. So I'm surprised how many posts and tutorials show you the steps up to this point but ignore the most important step which is editing the to-do. But I'm never going to give you up. And if you understood that reference, you're awesome. <laughs> so we're going to create a function that takes in the to-do ID to find the to-do and a new to-do text to replace its content. So let me just quickly show you here. It's going to be simple. So this is going to be our function. The edit to-do is going to take an ID of string and a new to-do string. And then we're going to find the index, the current to-do, right? And then we're just going to say to-dos, current to-do, and change its text. So yeah, so let's get started. So in our to-dos.svelte, we can start adding this function and passing it. So we can go here, under remove to-do, we can say function, edit to-do, id is going to take string, new to-do string, it doesn't return anything, so void. And then we need to get the current to-do, out of all the to-dos, we find the index, and we find the to-do where the to-do id equals the to-do that was passed. And then we say to-dos, current to-do, text, equals new to-do. And you can do this uh, many different ways, but I like this approach because it's more readable. Yeah, so we can go here, where we have remove to-do, we can pass edit to-do, and we can save this. So continuing in the editing to-do itself, to do item right, we're going to have an editing state and the toggle edit function together with a couple of methods for handling updating the to do. So we're going to have a handle edit which is going to be responsible for editing the to do and registering if the user pressed escape or enter to handle those scenarios, right? And then we're going to have an event handle blur is going to save the to do when the input loses focus, which is the blur event, and that's how the example works, right? And if you look at MDN, blur is a real thing. So the blur event fires when an element has lost focus. And then the li item is going to have a class directive of editing and a double click event listener on the span to toggle the editing mode and conditionally show the editing input based on if editing is true with the key down and blur event listeners. Yeah, so let's update to do Svelte. So if we go to, to do Svelte, we can add here, edit to do type. I should probably update this example because I forgot to highlight this line. New to do string void. Of course, that's not how you add a type, silly me. Yeah, so we can go here and add our prop. Edit to do, edit to do type. And that's for the prop, right? So we can say let editing equals false by default, so this is our state. And then I'm going to toggle edit, editing is true, <laughs> simple as that, right? Yeah, so here is the handle edit function I talked about. So let's create the handle edit function. It's going to take an event, keyboard event, and an ID of string. And then we need to know what was the press key? So we can say let press key, event key. So by the way, if you're wondering why I'm using let and not const, is that a swelting or something? No, it's just personal preference because I'm too lazy to type const out and there's really not the major difference between the two. Oh God, I started controversy. <laughs> okay, so let's, <laughs> let's define the target element event target and we need to tell TypeScript what it is. So as HTML input element and then we say let new to do is a target element value, right? So we're just making it nice and clear. And then we can use a switch statement here depending on what key was pressed. So you can say case escape we're going to lose the focus of the element, target element blur, say break, and in the case if enter is pressed, we can save the to do. So we can say edit to do, pass it the ID, a new to do. So we can 
lose focus and break. So that's it. It's really not that bad. And then lastly, we're going to have the handle blur case. Let me just scroll up so we can create a function. Function handle blur. I'm going to take an event. That's a focus event. ID of string. But yeah, let me just say the target element event target as HTML input element. New to do is target element value. And we just want to straight away save the to do. Pass in the ID. New to do. And we say target element lose focus. And then we have to set editing to false. So if we go here to the li, we're going to add the class editing and we don't have to specify anything else because class editing is going to depend on this state which is can only be true or false and that's how it's going to apply conditionally so if we scroll down here more so i use double click so rarely i was like is this a real thing and <laughs> sure is <laughs> awesome <laughs> all right so we can say uh, on double click we can toggle the editing mode. And here is the last part. So finally, we can use our commented out input. We can say if the editing mode is on, let me just close it out. So yeah, let me just format this. So we have the class type, skip the autofocus. Let's say the value is going to be the to do text. So what it currently holds. So the user has a nicer experience because they know what they're editing. And let's just add the events. So we're going to have a key down, which is going to take the event. Yeah, handle edit. Let's pass the event and the to do ID. So usually we don't have to pass the event if we just have the function itself that's not invoked and that's fine. So the event gets passed by itself. And we learned that in Swell for Beginners, if you remember. So yeah, that's why we do it like this. And then we can say on blur and also say event, handle blur, pass it the event and the to do ID. Yeah, so let's save. So in the previous video, I mentioned for you TypeScript nerds uh, how to find out the type of an event. So for example, if you saw the event here, key down blur, like you can maybe guess that it's a keyboard event or something and maybe you would like look it up on Stack Overflow, but I'm going to show you a way simple method that I mentioned. So just use the power of your editor and you can hover over the event and it already knows the type. So you can see keyboard event and you can see it's a focus event and just add the type and you're done. That's it. Okay, so let's see if this works. So if we go here, let's just refresh because I'm paranoid. And then we can try this out. Let's see, edit. And if you press enter, it's going to save. Awesome. Now let's see if escaping works. So if I say edit, summation mark and press escape, it should save it, right? Awesome, that also works. So we've done a large part of the project, so congrats if you made it so far. And that wasn't so bad, right? I spent a lot more time on this than you have so far, so don't feel like everything should make sense because it never does until you get your hands dirty. You don't have to make a to-do web, but take these concepts and make something you care about.